This story comes to us courtesy our friends at nasaspaceflight.com's L2 section. It's looking like Space Shuttle Atlantis will have some firsts and lasts on the upcoming STS-125 mission. This will be the last flight to service the Hubble telescope, and it will be the first time a new frangible nut crossover system is used for the solid rocket boosters. A frangible what, you say? Let's back up a bit. Each solid rocket booster has four hold down posts, or what we'll call bolts that hold the SRBs to the launch pad. Each bolt is 28 inches long and three and a half inches in diameter. In other words, they're huge. Neither the nuts nor bolts are explosive, but rather the nut is frangible, meaning that it breaks into fragments when an explosive detonation occurs within the nut itself. There are two areas that each nut has explosive material in, forcing the nut to break into two or more parts upon detonation. Since the inception of the Space Shuttle program, there have been 25 issues with these frangible nuts in 23 different missions. That means that in two missions, there was more than one nut that didn't break apart properly. In the old nut, there were two explosive cartridges and two electrical impulses that needed to be sent. In the new system, they will be using a crossover assembly to help circumvent the lay between the two explosive areas. Basically, they're bridging the two together to ensure that both fire at the exact same time. What NASA calls a stud hang-up, or a nut not breaking away properly, isn't really a huge issue. Once the SRBs ignite, there's very little that will hold it back, and a nut clearly isn't going to stop the space shuttle. But the possibility of a hung nut can cause the vehicle to have minor course corrections as it's launching. Now why even have these nuts and bolts in the first place? Simple, without bolting the SRBs down, a gust of wind could topple the $1.7 billion space shuttle. And that would be bad. This new system should allow for a cleaner launch with fewer issues. And you'll be able to watch the launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis on STS-125 right here at spacevidcast.com slash live. The mission is currently scheduled for October 8th, 2008.